somebody get dunked. Now. <laughs> somebody's gonna somebody's gonna have a, a headache tomorrow. Hey folks, and welcome back to Central Pattaya. We are on our way to another five-star luxury hotel today. But this one, I'll tell you about it in a minute. It's uh, got a little bit of a reputation for being on the affordable side, even though it is five-star luxury. But we'll go check in. We'll cut through here. We're going over to Soy, uh, Soy 15 Bacal by the Avenue Mall. But we're going to get checked in. We'll look at the whole place and... Then we'll go out this afternoon and have some fun. We definitely have to have some afternoon fun. It's it's right around lunchtime right now, but we're approaching the Avenue Mall, and it's right here on our right, and you're going to see this luxury hotel right over here. It's called the Barracuda. It's five-star rated. Now, it's got the blue glass. Not a very tall building, but check this out. We're going to slip in the back here. They've got a little gate. Now, the other side is on Second Road. That's the big formal entrance, but I'm kind of coming in the the service entrance here because it's real close by the parking garage so look at that i mean you'd expect a parking garage for five star luxury right and look somebody came out to greet us right on time make sure i'm you know parked in the right place and if i need any directions to the check-in so let's go in and see what's doing all right we'll get all unloaded get checked in and see what the room looks like and the pool gotta go for a dip in the pool Now, for some reason, I don't know why, just me, when I walked in here, I didn't feel like I was walking into a hotel lobby, per se. I felt like I was walking into, like, a fancy corporate headquarters. But then again, maybe that's just me. I see something kind of remarkable already, just in the lobby. I'm not even checked in yet. And sometimes they'll have computers in the lobby for you to use. You can check into your airline ticket and all that. But um, here, looks like they got, like, an iMac. Not, not sure I've ever seen that before in any hotel. Usually it's a very basic, rudimentary PC. Uh, Cause it's just for very simple web browsing and stuff, but I guess that's kind of neat. Um, check this out. I got some electric scoots here. Which you can rent. And you've even got a, a tuk-tuk out here. But if you follow the channel, you know, we stayed there about a week or so ago. That's the old Marriott. It's called Avani. We had a really nice time there. There's a video up on that. If you haven't seen it, check it out. But we're basically right across the street. I guess you can see that. That's Soy 13.2. 13.1 is right over there. Gives you an idea where we are because I know we came in the back way and <laughs> probably have no sense of really where we are. But that's where we are. Pretty convenient. Welcome to our guest room here at the Barracuda Hotel and I think it's safe to say some of the characteristics of the lobby kind of carry over into the room. These round sculpted features. Oh, one of the walls is actually kind of round and sculpted. I, I like the sink being out there. But look at the bed. It's different than anywhere else. You're not going to confuse this room or this hotel with anything else. It's very unique. It's got its own design, which I kind of found to be a little bit of a modern twist. Uh, yeah, nice day bed right there by the window ornate artwork there and I think overall we like the room and we like the design I'll show you the balcony here we can we've got a pretty good view of the pool and the sun deck down there not much on the, in terms of the patio skyline but that's okay nice peaceful garden to look at down there now we stayed here for two nights 
and our total I, th I think we were at about 1600 per night tax and everything i think it was like 3500 baht for the both nights look at this big shower now, there's the other robe well, nice embroidered and everything but this is one of the bigger showers i've seen in any hotel room it might be considered the the party piece of the room so it's huge i don't know six people could get in there and of course the commode gets its own little room that's always nice and they even thoughtfully added an exhaust fan but the the room i i indicated that this was more on the budget friendly side in terms of your five star properties even during normal times i know right now there's big discounts but even during normal times this is one of your less expensive uh, five star properties so our breakfast was also included, so I'll go into that and explain that, but there's the room. So, we got all checked in. We love the room, uh, but we're not done yet. We gotta, we gotta do some paperwork. I'll show you what I mean. We've gotta fill out our breakfast tickets. Now, when I booked, I saw they had buffet breakfast, and it looked really good. I'll try to show you a picture of that. But they don't have that now. I kind of understand that because probably not enough guests to warrant putting out a whole buffet. I was wondering about that. Plus, it's a weekday. Today's a Wednesday, uh, so tomorrow morning will be a Thursday. Uh, even though there was people checking in, probably not enough to warrant a full, a full-blown breakfast buffet. So we'll see how that goes. But first, I have to make my selections, and then we'll see tomorrow morning when it comes. I'll, I'll, I'll see if I can show you that. And we'll see what it looks like in the whole nine yards. Also, <laughs> we just noticed we give you flip flops. That's always nice. Uh, two pairs, full of little niceties in here. So I'll get the breakfast ordered, then maybe go down and see the pool. Okay. okay. Me. <laughs> Yeah, really nice facilities there. They, of course, they got a restaurant right adjacent to the pool, a spa, and and this gym, which is small but but quite adequate. Everything in there you need probably, and of course the pool. Don't forget the pool. Really nice pool and sun deck there. So, I thought we'd go out this afternoon and have a look around and have a little afternoon fun. So let's go do that. I'm out here on the beach. I just rode by. Wasn't planning on stopping here, but I saw something that I've never seen out here before. <laughs> it looks kind of cool. So I'm right in the middle of the beach. I'm right by Soy, I guess, 11, Soy 11. And here it is. It's like a lifeguard, uh, a lifeguard stand, I think. And it even says right here, Lifeguard patio. And it's the only one, it's the only one along the beach here. It's kind of right in the middle, not exactly in the middle, but you can see that way there's none. There's a guy on an ATV down there, a four, a four wheel ATV. I've never seen this before. I'm not sure when it got installed, but there it is. If you go swimming out here and you get in a little trouble, and there's a lifeguard on duty, maybe they can help you, I don't know. But it sure looks legit. It kind of, I don't know, it kind of uh, adds to the to the beach experience having a lifeguard. Because uh, where I'm from, we all we have things similar to that, albeit maybe they're not that high. That's pretty high up there. So I just thought I'd show you that. Something new, we'll, we'll see how long it lasts. 
So a couple episodes ago, I had a feature, and I went around and we looked at some of the live and virtual type entertainment that's going on over the internet from some of the establishments here, and it's it's kind of a way that they're going to try to stay afloat during this uh, you know these hard times with low customers. So. A lot of people didn't know about that, so I thought I would go around and show that. Some people, of course, did know. It's not news to you. But having done that, let's go and let's go and make sure that Old Patia is still alive and intact. It's not all that. It's not all live shows and, and whatnot. So let's go do a little, a little what they call balloon chasing today. We'll see what that looks like. There's always somebody that's got balloons and there's a special event usually a birthday there's some up here on the left i see already wasn't expecting that but i know there's going to be some up here on the right because it's my friend's birthday up there so i want to go see her but we'll come back to these pink balloons see what's doing there but uh in the afternoon's a good time to do this and it doesn't necessarily mean it's a birthday but it could mean a special event it could mean some kind of special deal it could mean free food it could mean anything you just have to go and investigate so we'll uh we'll take a look and we'll say happy birthday to kai while we're here uh, thank you very much okay happy birthday kai <laughs> hello all right we'll come back she's having a birthday party later all right. Thank you, Lucas. Okay. So yeah, I knew about that when New Kai was having a birthday, but this one was a surprise. Hello, welcome. Okay. So yeah, we'll get all parked and go in. Now this is a newer place. I think it's only been open a couple months. So we'll go in and find out what all the balloons are for and see what the special event is. As it turns out, it's this young lady's birthday here, the one in the leopard uh, leopard pattern, whatever. And she told me she was 21. Um, I thought maybe she fudged it a couple years, but so does everybody, right? So no harm in that. But anyway, we'll uh, we'll get something to drink. Actually, not doing beer. We have to drink things so so that. Okay, get loud, get loud, man. Ah, get loud. <laughs> We'll go back to the first party here later and a little late to the show here tonight uh, had a lot of things to do but anyway i arrived at a good time because i believe just in time for cake it's cake time and i'll tell you what that means the balloons have to go so usually at some juncture in the evening the ladies become very angry with the balloons and take out their frustrations i'm just curious if they have the same degree of zeal and setting them up as they do in popping them. Okay, I think we got them on. So if you remember, I, I filled out some breakfast tickets earlier, and this is the result of the breakfast tickets. The breakfast lady showed up right here, uh, right at the room about 7.30. That was the prescribed time, and everything was accounted for. Everything I had indicated on the ticket came right to the room room service style so that was nice but if you also remember I told you we were here two nights and the second morning was different so they changed it up we got a we got a buffet breakfast today huh. we had in-room breakfast yesterday today buffet so let's go let's get on the elevator and see what this is all about so it turns out the breakfast was being served in the little restaurant right next to the swimming pool. Looks like a buffet right in here. Uh, what do you call? <laughs> My cafe. So here we are, arrived at the breakfast buffet. We got all checked in there. And we'll go through here and see what they got. Hopefully some bacon. The bacon was good yesterday. They brought it to the room. I guess you saw it there when I lifted up the, the covers on the dishes. But so far, 
vegetable. Okay, we're getting close. There's some eggs. And they got scrambled eggs. Might have those this morning. That's kind of disappointing. That looked like the meat tray and uh, no bacon. Uh, I know there was bacon yesterday. It's got to be here somewhere. They, bacon is a thing here. More vegetables. Okay. But uh, salad bar. Cereal. I might have some cereal. And seems like a decent buffet breakfast. I mean, not the best in town by any means, but it was nice to have a buffet breakfast the second day instead of the in-room breakfast. I don't, I don't like having the breakfast in the room for whatever reason, but this was nice enough. I just still didn't see any bacon. Oh, they got another table over here. This looks like the beverage department, though. Juice, water, and uh, maybe some coffee or tea over here. Maybe an espresso machine. So we'll have to get to the bottom I have to get to the bottom of this bacon dilemma and go ask the people. Say me a uh, bacon, man. Bacon, me, ha. Oh, okay. I'll bacon, I'll bacon. <laughs> so, yeah, all you got to do is, is ask for it. I guess they got it hidden in the back or something. Uh, I guess that's pretty smart. It's probably the most popular breakfast offering they have, so you don't need anybody overdoing their share, I guess. But here's what I got. There's the bacon. It came. It came, and... Uh, V had some fried rice, some vegetables, and I, got, I don't know what else she went up and got. I just had a quick breakfast, and they went for a walk. But uh, the cups of coffee, these little cups of espresso were good. And uh, there's what I had. I had the scrambled eggs, my bacon, and, the, and a croissant. So pretty nice breakfast. I enjoyed it more than the day before. So there you go, another five-star luxury property right in the heart of Padia, the Barracuda. And, like I said, one of the more budget-friendly ones even during normal times. So keep your eyes open for that. We also had a little afternoon of fun. But a lot of people ask about my other motorcycle, the white Yamaha. I just got that delivered back to me. It was done in the shop as of last night. I'm going out to ride it today. I'll be filming an episode. So keep, keep an eye out for that. And over the course of the next week, I should have a, a full update on that, and we'll see what, see what all that looks like. So let's hope it turned out good. For this episode, I'm going to leave it off here, and as usual, thank you for watching. And until next time, bye for now.